This is Master Gia reporting at Exotic Atlantic City with the beautiful and legendary Tara Patrick. Hello, Tara, how are you doing? I'm good. I think it's funny when everybody says legendary now. <laughs> well, you are a legend. It doesn't... Thank you. It doesn't... Um, how does that affect you hearing that? Not affect me. I just... It's like, oh, wow, okay. I mean, I'm Muhammad, I feel like the Muhammad Ali of porn now, so I guess that's I guess that's good, right? And when I started, I was the Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant. Now I'm the Muhammad Ali, so I can deal with that. Sports analogy. <laughs> what have you been up to since I last saw you at New York Comic Con two years ago? Wow, so um, I have a holes in my mouth, too. I apologize. It's so dry here in Atlantic City. Well, we are... Here in Atlantic City at the Exotica, I actually went on a really successful Comic-Con tour. I just finished at um, Sacramento Comic-Con, and I will be at WonderCon in Anaheim, New York Comic-Con, Philadelphia and Chicago Wizard World. It's been really awesome being embraced by the Comic-Con and Wizard World community. I was in San Diego Comic-Con, which was nutty, and I'm cosplaying as uh, my Hello Punisher, which is my signature, which is Hello Kitty and the Punisher, Psylocke, Baroness, Viper. It's cool, because when I do Viper, people are always surprised, because she's not really cosplayed very much. So. Um, it's fun. I've been doing a lot of traveling, happy to be here in Atlantic City, and hopefully my second memoir is going to come out soon. I've been trying to get it out, so... You've been working on it for a while. I, I've been looking forward to reading it. It's completely finished. I'm just waiting for my publisher to kind of get it together. <laughs> so, um, but it, it should be soon. It should be very soon, so we're, we're hoping. I'm excited. It's called Happy Ending. I got my happy ending. Everyone should get their happy ending. I agree. Yes. Do you work on your own cosplays or do you work with somebody? How do you, how does they come about? You know what's funny is I do. Uh, my husband, Tony Acosta, was here last year. He's a, a union customer, actually. He's on set right now with, um, he works on Man of Steel. He's worked on a ton of movies, but he's doing Superman versus Batman right now. And um, I would ask him to do my costumes with me. And I realized it's his work, so I did. I, I take a lot of it on myself, and I do a lot of it myself. So, And I have a few friends in the industry, the costumers industry, that help me with some of the leather and molding and the harder pieces, yeah. What made you decide to do cosplay? The funny thing is I've always been into it. I've never had an outlet for it. Of course, for years I did adult trade shows and adult cons. But when I was at Comic-Cons, I started actually at San Diego Comic-Con in 2004 and 2006 when I did Aqua Teen, uh, Saints Row, Backyard Wrestling. But cosplaying wasn't, um, I think now it's a bit more popular for girls and for women and now I have an outlet for it. I wasn't going to be doing it here, so now that I've been able to parlay the success of being in the adult industry into Comic-Con, I have an outlet for for my cosplay, which is really nice. So. I love your Hello Punisher, just because Punisher is one of my favorite characters, and, and combining it with something cute like Hello Kitty. How did that idea come up? This is so funny. So my good friend, who's a costumer, Vanessa Lee, uh, she, her husband and her, actually she uh, did Sienna Miller as Baroness for G.I. Joe. Okay. So Vanessa and I were hanging out at home, and she said, you like Hello Kitty. You have to mix you know, hit her with the Punisher. You're too soft. She told me you're too soft and beautiful. I mean, she told me you're badass, but you have to mix the Punish the Hello Kitty with it because that's really you. And the most important thing I want to convey about cosplaying is, um, okay, they need to be some more Rage Against the Machine. This is not my type of music. <laughs> Where's Gio and I are suffering over here. Um, there's no judgments when it comes to cosplay, and you can really make it your own. And I really applaud any man, woman, or child that puts their own spin on cosplay, because uh, that's what I was saying. The Punisher's badass, and I, Hello Kitty's a sweet, gentle creature, and I feel like I embody both of that, so that's where we came up with Hello Punisher. And I think it's unique. It's definitely unique to me. And when I see the smiles on kids' faces when they see me at the cons, they always go, Hello Kitty could totally kill the Punisher. And I just laugh because in their mind, it's, it's not um, impossible. And so I think that that's what cosplaying is all about. It's channeling who you like and who you love, and it, and it, it makes me feel, feel good. Okay. So. What projects do you have coming up? 
so of course, uh, you can find everything Tara Patrick at my official website, tarapatrick.com. We're awaiting the release of Happy Ending. And uh, I'm getting ready actually to head to Asia, my first trip to the Philippines. I'm very excited, I've never been there. I'm gonna be doing some um, auto salons. I'll be at the Tokyo Auto Salon in the Philippines and uh, in uh, Germany as well. So I'm excited to be doing some of the car shows and and definitely a lot more Comic Cons. Like I said, I'll be at Philadelphia, Wizard World, New York Comic Con, um, Chicago, in uh, Chicago Wizard World in August, and then WonderCon next week. So I'm happy to still be traveling and touring and meeting fans, and it's exciting. What would you say is the major difference between, say, this show and a comic book convention? <laughs> the crowd, for sure. But no, I say the crowd because my fans have followed me into uh, Comic-Con and what I do. I, my roots are in adult. I, I always say I'm not famous because I'm a great actress. I'm famous because I did porn. So that's where people know me. And, and even though I do not promote anything porn or pornographic at Comic-Con, I completely separate the two. I'm so happy to always be here at Exotica because I did do the first show. I still have so many friends here. It's always great. I'm here with Shauna Kenny, who's an author, uh, Nina Hartley, Ron Jeremy, us old school people, um, Alexandra Silk. I mean, it to me, and, and some of the new. I like to mix the old and the new, but um, I'm happy to be here. My fans still appreciate that that I come here with my DVDs and books and meet them, and you know, so. Okay. <laughs> well, I know you did a burlesque. You've been doing some burlesque shows as well, right? Could you tell me a little bit about them? So I started with Ivan Kane at 40 Deuce in Las Vegas, and he's now, Ivan Kane now has a residency at Rebel Casino here in Atlantic City called Royal Jelly, so make sure you check that out. I did perform at Rebel Casino a couple times with the Royal Jelly burlesque, which Royal Jelly's a bit, I, I'm partial to it because it's, it's a live rock band. So I love rock, I do a lot of my burlesque to like uh, Elvis, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, uh, I love classic rock burlesque. And then I have a monthly burlesque show that I do in Los Angeles at El Cid in Silver Lake called Sultry Sweet Burlesque. And we also have a live band. So if you're noticing a theme here, I like to dance to a live band because I've been known to get on the mic. I've done Judas Priest. Um, yeah, you got another thing coming. That's my jam. And uh, I, I like to sing and dance and I just love the live music. I think the vibe is, is our fans like it. New people that come check out Burlesque like that we're a bit edgy. I've got a knife thrower, Jack Dagger, he's thrown some knives at me. And I'm willing to try anything once, obviously. Awesome. In my movies, you've clearly seen. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I feel like most of my dreams have come true. Um, my baby girl's growing up, and she's healthy, and she's two, and she's a huge Star Wars fan. Oh, that's awesome. Star Wars, Star Wars, and Baca. She loves Chewbacca. Baca. Baca's her favorite. Are you excited about the uh, sequels that are coming out? I am. I'm not a hater. I'm not a Star Wars prequel. Or um, I, I, I'm curious. Is my I'm curious. I give everything a chance. I really thought I wasn't gonna like um, like it, but uh, the Clone Wars. But I think that it's just evolution. I think that for us, to, for me to say I remember Star Wars, of course, the way it was. But we got to give it a chance too. You know. So it's kind of how I feel about it. Okay. I don't like Jar Jar Binks, though. Oh, or any, yeah, no, like none of. I'm not into any of that. But yeah. all right, any final words, Tara? Yes, um, George Lucas. If you can hear me, I would love to do Course of the Fourth. I will happily skip and strut, uh, run, whatever you want. I've I've been trying to get on that for a couple years now. Um, so that was for George Lucas if we ever reach out to him. But no, I appreciate my fans. Thank you, Gio. You've always been so wonderful and Thank supportive. You, and um, I just hope that everyone enjoys my work, continues to enjoy my work, and I'll keep putting out great stuff for you. So, and I'm excited at New York Comic Con. You get to see Baroness. I can't wait. I know. I've been a G.I. Joe fan since I was a kid. Baroness is one of the hottest characters I've ever Yeah, she is. Cover girl. She's hot too. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Mwah.